You think I'm gonna let you guys close the doors for me? There's cameras here. Come on. I'm Go ahead, thanks. These ladies. I was 189 in the morning. 189. 189. Wow. So you could yeah. tip the scales hypothetically yeah. around four o'clock. I mean, today. I could probably spit into a cup right now and make the weight. Wow. Where'd you mine. get this shirt, by the way? You like this, right? I like it. It's actually really nice. I've never would have done brown and, and black, black before. That's like really That's risky. You got dressed That's in risky dark. business. I thought you got dressed in the dark today. No, no, but this is like high-end fashion. Wow. This is this is next level stuff, all right? Wow. <laughs> we'll begin our show today with one of the toughest men on the planet. He'll be defending his UFC middleweight title against Luke Rockhold. Chris Weidman joins me. Chris, thanks so much for coming back to the show. Do you ever worry about like your long-term metabolism? I'm hoping I'm going to find a way not to be a fat kid after I'm, after I'm done fighting for sure. <laughs> you and every other athlete. Yeah. I'm in the Empire State Building. That was crazy. <laughs> Can you tell he just knocked out a 43 year old? <laughs> He's really happy. Uh, hey, Did you get the lucky in here? You want to beat him up? Let's get me in here. Oh my god. Don't, and don't fuck my hair up, bro. I'll beat you with the mic. And don't touch my pants. You know what? Hold on. Jacques. Guys, you know he just beat up a guy your age. Like, I know. He's very I know. excited right now. Someone posted it today. I posted in our Ring of Combat days. And my abs back then. I'm just saying, crushing Wadman. Crush it! Did you get old? No, no they don't I get old. I'm crushing right now, too. Hold on. Just gonna sit this here, unbutton getting... myself. I'm sweating. Oh, no big deal, guys. <laughs> How hey, are we doing hey, in this Why don't you sit up straight? <laughs> Dude, wait, I gotta take my arms <laughs> off. <laughs> there you go. Just get naked. <laughs> get naked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Alright, I'm back for the interview. Yeah, let's right. We wax your fucking nipples? Well, no, I went on a date last night. I wanted to look good. <laughs> yeah, but then raise your hand. I knew I was gonna take my arms off. He forgot his armpits? Yeah, and then he forgot his arms. Look at these hairy ass arms and hairy ass Because usually I just unbutton the shirt, I don't take the sleeves off. It's disgusting. Naturally, what are you like, talking about? Like, what? Out. You're the one sitting here with no oh, shirt on. You're you can bust our balls. I He's mean, still guys. drunk right now. I was <laughs> really had a rough night. Look at his hair. <laughs> you know what's so man. funny about this whole thing is that this man is defending his title just like eight days from now, and this is how relaxed he is. Yeah. And that's pretty fucking cool, Wyman. Yeah. <laughs> Oatmeal. Gotta love it. Makes me some fresh jam and a little peanut butter. Like a peanut butter and jelly oatmeal. The only way to do it. Chris Wyman eats his oatmeal with nothing. No flavor whatsoever. Like chicken without spice. It's like a well done steak. <laughs> <laughs> Flavorless champion. Uh, this place for six weeks now. It's time to go get a little coastal retreat back home in Santa Cruz. Freshen up and get ready for Vegas. This place has been good to me. It's time to go. Help me with uh, maximize my training recovery. Obviously, ease the commute. It's good headspace, you know, having everything I need here. Got a pool, a hot tub, steam room, everything you need to relax. And focus, get away from all the bullshit. It's a beautiful thing, the end of a hard training camp. Champ camp is done. Ready to just go get to Vegas and look this dude in the eyes and see what he's all about. People underestimate me. They look at me and they see this like surfer kid, party, has fun, I do all this thing. This isn't a game for me. This is what I fucking do for a living. This is what I love to do and I don't fuck around when I get in there. I bring it harder than anyone fucking world and that's that's why I've made it to where I am. I love getting underestimated. I've been underestimated my whole career. Excellent. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Camp camp is over. Camp's baby. over. Fuck it up. You fat man. Big. Yeah it's big. <laughs> Bigger than you Bush. You fat. Gordura. Vamos. O Aldo sempre está motivado e a gente sabe como é que o Vega é um falastrão, é né? um palhaço, é o bobo da corte. É confiar no nosso treino aqui, que eles são fortes, para chegar lá e fazer o melhor e sair com a vitória com certeza.
a gente leva meio pro pessoal. E eu acho que com certeza ajudou bastante ao Aldo a treinar e querer acabar com ele o mais rápido possível. É lógico que ele tá mais focado nessa luta, porque o outro fala demais, né? Então, quer dizer, a vontade de bater no outro é muito maior do que nos outros, né? Então, que acha? Mas, cara, ele tá treinando normal e tá preparado pra poder chegar lá e não dar mole pra ninguém. Vai fazer o que ele faz sempre. Vai lutar bem e vai arrebentar o, o falastrão. É quando eu vencer, com certeza a boca dele vai estar calada. Agora não sei se vai ser rápido ou não. É, eu vou castigá-lo. Para mim, tanto faz. Eu acho que eu tenho que chegar lá dentro e vencer. Eu acho que a vitória, esse é o maior castigo. Eu acho que vai ser movimento Eu tenho meu coach aqui, Ido Portal. Vamos fazer muitos movimentos de freio no corpo. It's called the Ido Portal method. It's a movement approach that I developed over the last 20 years. Variety of shapes, movements, from dance to improvisation to fighting, footwork, locomotion, flowing on the floor, moving on the ground, moving in the air, anything and everything. Something to promote good quality movement in the fighters. Ido Portal is an expert of movement. He knows everything about movement, and fighting is movement. Once you're pinned down and you're a sitting target, and you're moving in predictable ways, it's very easy to implement all kinds of attacks on you, and then people like Aldo can shine. But once you're on the move, unpredictable, taking all kinds of shapes, rhythms, tempos, then the whole game changes. Touching, yes, exactly. Study the body in all the forms. Half of what She's laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> nice punch. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh. Fucking hell. I broke the machine. <laughs> no, no, it's an arrow. It's an arrow. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes. <laughs> 430. <laughs> this is the highest is ever. This that is the is highest insane. ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> Just a wrist. Oh, be your record. oh shit. <laughs> I put a candle on. You have to uh, let's extinguish see it. Uh, okay. So. So. <laughs> Your left hand sharper. That is some game. You can put them all over the hills. I just be like fucking. Ha, 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 ha.